The last Squid video was about the catastrophic forgetting problem in continuous machine learning. I said give me a few weeks, it's been a few weeks, so let's think about it. You haven't forgotten about catastrophic forgetting, have you? A convolutional neural network can classify the MNIST digits pretty well. But if you only train the model on the digits 0 through 4, and then the digits 5 through 9, it forgets how to identify 0 through 4. A modern solution to this modern problem is regularization. A model trains by minimizing the loss it gets comparing its outputs to correct answers. We can add regularization to that loss. What do we regularize? One option? The model's weights, which turn input into output. When we train our classifier on the digits 5 through 9, we could tell it, hey, don't change your weights too much, because your weights already work on 0 through 4. But this isn't the best option. Neural networks are complicated, which means changing its weights even a little bit might change the model's outputs. So another option is regularizing the model's outputs. When we train our classifier on the digits 5 through 9, we can tell it, hey, don't change your answers to these examples from your earlier training on 0 through 4. This works, but it can take too long and can require too much computer memory if we track too many examples from earlier training. How do we pick just a few examples, but good examples? Enter the Gaussian process. These are really cool. I think I might need to make a thinkster just about Gaussian processes. But here's the gist. You've seen normal distributions, which have a mean and a variance describing a bell curve. Where are these balls gonna pachinko? Probably here, plus or minus this much left or right. A multivariate normal distribution is like a bunch of bell curves which are related. They have their own averages but they share a covariance matrix. Their variances are interconnected. If we drop a ball and see where it pachinkos in one bell curve, we have information about where it probably pachinkoed in all the other bell curves. A Gaussian process is like pretending you've got infinity normal distributions. You can use them in NumPy, Scikit-Learn, and PyTorch with GPyTorch. Here, I made a Gaussian process which can classify the MNIST digits pretty well. Uh, of course, it still catastrophically forgets. What's important is that a Gaussian process can be used to approximate any neural network. So, given an MNIST digit and the output it gets from this classifier, we can make a Gaussian process which tells us how surprising or memorable that memory is so we can regularize the classifier's outputs to the most memorable examples. Let's do that. I've trained the classifier on the digits 0 through 4, and I've picked out the most memorable and least memorable training examples. Take a look. Uh, these digits are forgettable because they're so generic, a dime a dozen. These digits are memorable because they look funky. If we regularize the classifier's output to the memorable digits when we train on 5 through 9, it remembers how to classify 0 through 4. Wow! It doesn't work as well as the same classifier trained on all the digits at once, but it works. This leaves me thinking, all I do here at Thinkster. These forgettable digits, the, the classifier got most of them right. This is a 4, it predicted 4. Uh, this is a 3, it predicted 3. The memorable digits, uh, the classifier got most of them wrong. I, I can imagine making mistakes on some of these. Uh, there's bad handwriting out there. But why does it help to regularize the output when the output is wrong? Spooky! See you next time. Bye-bye. By the way, I've got a Patreon at patreon.com slash thinkster. I want to thank all these squidlings and elder squids. Thanks.